just in, Sarah Palin hospitalized. Bill Clinton loses it in an interview, admits he's a murderer. It's this that makes you want to click. Fake news dominated the 2016 US election. We have an epidemic of false information racing around, using social networks as the accelerant. One city in Macedonia was at the very center of it. This is Velas. In 22 years, I was earning more than someone that will never earn in his entire life. And these are the people behind it. It's a huge business, it's a huge industry, it's a huge network. We are taking uh, fake accounts so I can reach more and more people. There is a strategy, there's a cleverness to this. You don't know if it's true or not. I don't know and I don't care. And one fake news producer makes a shocking revelation. Their next target, 2020. Tucked away in the hills of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia is the small city of Velas. A place many thousands of miles away from Washington, but whose voices echo right across America. So-called fake news can have real world... Fighting the fake news. It's fake. Phony. False propaganda. For months, I've been wanting to come here. Ever since I heard, over a hundred fake news sites were traced right here to the city. The old factories here in Velas, many now left to rust away, used to make ceramics. Today, it's known locally for something else. Now, it's known as Trump's Velas, famous for its fake news websites. I keep hearing the fake news industry is worth millions of dollars, but walking around, it's clear to see this is not a city paved with gold. In fact, it's a place that feels like it's trapped in a time warp while it simultaneously charges ahead into the digital new world. So it makes me wonder, who are the people behind this supposedly multi-million dollar industry? What are the chances of us getting someone to interview? Can you help us? Never on the case. We find several people in the city connected to the fake news industry, but they're reluctant to talk openly about it. Will any of the people you know be interested in talking to us, be able to talk to us? They are worried about being exposed and their websites shut down. This after Facebook and Google began cracking down on fake news. But it seems the local mayor isn't shy to tell us just how widespread the industry is. Mm. About seven tabs or so that are open. Just in, Sarah Palin hospitalized. You can spot the stories that are really untrue, completely fake. Bill Clinton loses it in an interview, admits he's a murderer. The stories on this particular website are fake, but other websites are actually going further. They are mixing fact and fiction. That is a lie, and that's mixed in with news and the main political page. And someone in the US could potentially be influenced by that. They make you want to click and they make you want to share. At the moment, we're looking to track down some of the websites currently up and running. We want to know what exactly they're writing about. Is it still President Trump? This is the one of the websites that we know comes from Macedonia. It has a link to their own Facebook. The IP address and the IP location says it's Texas. If you look further down, it gives you the address, Velas. I'm going to see if this person picks up. Hello, can you tell me a bit more about your website? It's a news, a news website for now. Yes. Would you call it a fake news website? No. Where do you get your ideas from? Where do you get the stories from? Uh, from other newspapers. And uh, who, who are your readers? Is it American readers? Who are the majority yes, of people? Mostly, yeah. mostly American, yes. Do the people that read your website, do they know that your website is fake? And what's the... Uh, meaning for fake websites? Well, they're not real news. You're making stories up. 